Hello everybody, my name is Jackie Aero and welcome back to another episode of Better Minecraft on the Tea House SMP server. Check this out, okay? I'm basically in heaven. Look at this. I I did a little bit of exploring, okay? Let me show you on the map where I am. So my base is I don't even know. Where's my base? There. And I am here. Look at this. I presume this is from the graveyard mod, but look at all the goodies. Like, I don't even know. I haven't checked if there's any chests under these graves yet, but check this out. It's amazing. This is, this is, this is just heaven. It's absolute heaven. What's this? Ceramics. What does that do? Don't know. Nothing. Love it. Even like, I've seen this sort of, this sort of uh, weird cloudy fog stuff in a few different places. I don't know what triggers it or like what you can do to grab it. That'd be nice. But uh, check this out. Let's go have a look. Underneath these. This chest under all of them? That's crazy. Okay, it's crap loot. <laughs> I mean, a zombie head? A zombie head's pretty good? Oh, my inventory is terrible. I picked up some wither roses earlier on. I've also already got a creeper skeleton and stuff. Uh, let's just get rid of some of these blocks. I don't need the coal ore. That's fine. Uh, there. I don't know if you guys picked up I don't know if you guys picked up that noise. That is from a soul lantern, I presume. Yeah. Check this out. It's so cool. And not only is there this, but look on the map. Like, what's the zoom button? There's like four or five of these in one place. It's crazy. It's so insane. Oh, this is great. It's probably going to take me like an hour to loot. Uh, I have to be careful because I don't have a bed. Um, I woefully underprepared, but. We can grab all of these. I'm going to grab all of these heads, all of these candles, and I'm going to check out all of the chests. Let's see what kind of loot we get. Oh, that is a very interesting spawner. A wither skeleton spawner. That might actually be really, really, really useful. Uh, and also quite scary. Before I go through all the lovely treasures I've just found, today is the day that we have decided to go and fight the Ender Dragon. But first, we have to find the stronghold. Pick a block Woo! and dig down. We must find the stronghold. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, okay. straight down. Got it. I mean, this... do it intelligently. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I can still see, like, eyes glowing in the distance somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah! Ooh, uh -huh. There's... Uh... This is I'm looting this everything, it's mine. <laughs> Ooh, this is kind of like the blind oh, leading the blind here. Yeah. Yeah, basically, <laughs> yes. Truly, truly professional Minecrafters, as you can tell, I'm sure Severus in particular seemed to be really enjoying herself. I thought it was a creeper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry! There's a monster! There's two um, monsters! Ah, there's a creeper one. made of stone! And after a few slight hiccups and shenanigans, we finally found the end portal. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, six five, five, four, four three, 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 two, two one. one. Way. In we go. <laughs> Ooh. Um, I went first. Uh, I'm um, gonna I, die. I, uh, oh, it's I'm just uh, sitting. It, it's, I'm just okay, sitting there in the portal. There we go. There we go. Oh. I can't oh, see. Oh, I'm oh, falling. I can't into the see. Don't move. Oh, don't falling. move. Don't move. Oh, I'm falling. <laughs> Everybody uh, in the void. Not touching anything. Uh, okay. I can't see. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I should click last minute. No. Oh, oh no. 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 I just clicked last I got pushed off. I feel like we made a good decision. Oh my decision. gosh. <laughs> I just. Give me XP, slime. Come here. Oh Don't my gosh. Come in this dragon. Oh, I forgot about the. the, the forgot about the. the wait, do I? This far. I'm scared. Oh no. dear, oh dear. Oh, 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 oh. most definitely firing at us. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, how come oh, I... Okay. Oh, why am I oh, standing in it? I didn't look at you! I didn't look at you! Get away from me! Well, now oh, I need job, to... Jack. Oh, That's a good idea. I need to... Um, oh. They will absolutely Holy murder moly. us. Oh, Jack! Ow! Ah. I hate this. Sorry! Ah, no! Oh, yeah, yeah, no, me? get those. What's oh, those, those huge ones. Put it on my head. Ow. Take out 
It's downtime. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get her. Oh, oh. <laughs> close. Come on, come on. Yay! Yay! Lilith, well done. <laughs> the end. Did you get an egg? I guess. Yeah, I did. No. The wow. animal is looking at well, me. XP. There's another one, though. Oh. Oh. Egg. Actually, bring torches with me. That was maybe a bit silly. There's some in my gravestone. <laughs> um, does anyone have a bucket of water? I'd like yeah, to go down to my gravestone. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, you can. Oh. Hello. Uh, alt. Press alt. Okay. Oh, I got a book. Ah, yes. Very the good. End ah. <laughs> the end for dummies. The end for dummies. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, oh. Here, oh, here everybody it. comes. Okay. 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 I'm so scared. Oh my god. I'm coming. I'm it's coming. beautiful. Look at this. Ooh, I hate those slime things. I hate them so There's all like floaty, Ooh. pretty things. It looks great. Oh, 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 watch yeah, out, Lilith. Watch out. Come wait, forth. Wait, come wait, forth. Wait, wait. Oh, yes. We have killed the Ender Dragon. We now claim these lands. <laughs> Yay. 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 <laughs> and I like that the sun is is perhaps that way. That that's east, everyone. Nice. <laughs> oh, good to know. What's this? What's that? What are those? Okay, well, after suffering an untimely death at the hands of myself, my own fault, sadly, um, I'm just exploring around, and you know what? There's some really cool blocks around this place. Like, check this out. This per per pel Pelidium. Palladium? Pelidium. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's got three different types. The full cover, like a thin cover, then a heavy cover. Um, yeah, so you can see a different type here. This is the heavy cover versus the full cover. It's really cool. It's kind of kind of creepy. And I like it. I like it a lot. So that's the heavy cover, full cover. And this is the tiny cover. I would say thin cover. Tiny cover. And then this is a different block entirely. I really like this. Like this one is kind of creepy. It's real nice. I make sure I'm wearing my cat pumpkin. I am. I'm going to grab a whole bunch of this. Um, I think this could be pretty cool for like a path block, like a really weird, creepy path block around the town. It seems like there's a bunch of different biomes in the end as well. And this one is just like completely thick. Like it's so difficult to actually see through. It's just really, really dense. But it's pretty cool. It's got some pretty cool wood in it. This um, is this the Lucy something? Lu Lucernia? Lucernia. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's got that in it, and that's pretty nice. Uh, this floor is, y yes, it's that stuff. Uh, it's uh, it's quite cool as well. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is where <laughs> stay away from me. I got killed by an endermite. Like, how embarrassing is that? Uh, but yeah, r loads of different biomes and stuff, which is really cool for just exploring, but also grabbing all these tons of different blocks that we can use. And underneath there is a mine shaft. Unfortunately, it's got pretty crap loot in it, I've got to say. Um, check this out on the map, though. So this is what we've uncovered so far. That, I think, is some kind of altar or something. Or a temple, maybe. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not visiting that at all. I died. Uh, um, who knows? I don't know. There, I think maybe. Maybe I should go back this way. There's an interesting color uh, biome here, which could be quite cool. This looks interesting over here. Unless it's just the same as that. It is. Okay, that's fine. Still. Yeah, lots to explore. Lots and lots to explore. And lots to die from. I've just found an end explorer map. I have no idea what that is. Uh, let's go take a look. See what we can find on the on this. Okay, so we need to head north. Looks like quite far away though. Oh wow, that looks very cool. Very nice. I like that a lot. Um, I really like this block as well. This vi viola site. That's very cool. Aha, so this is what the map has been pointing us towards. A very small end city, and I can't help but notice there is no boat on it. But that's okay, uh, we'll check it out anyway. Hopefully we can get a bunch of shulkers and stuff, and we can also see just what else is in it.
Very cool. This looks great. Check out those lanterns as well. That's very nice. Do we have any shulkers on the outside? We do. Aha! I may never stop floating. <laughs> I'm just going to float away. I'm fine. They're teleporting like crazy as well. They're uh, slightly mm, more annoying than regular shulkers by the seam of it. Check out these lanterns, by the way. Endstone lanterns. They look very nice. That's cool. I like that a lot. Get away. Don't be no Nope. Give it. Give it. Give it. Don't Ha. Well, at the start of the episode, I was in heaven. And right now, I'm in hell. Uh, I found a spawner here. And I'm just trying to block off everything below. I have no idea if the torches will stop it. I just want to stop getting hit. <laughs> Oh, my inventory is such a mess. Nice. First sugar box. That's great. They're just uh, they're actually floating around on these pedestals at the top here. I need to block this off really quick. Uh, let me just float away from that hell hole. <laughs> uh, I don't know if the torches at the top, they're still following me. Are they still following me? I think they are. I don't know if the torches uh, around the spawner actually stop it from spawning. I don't really know spawning rules regarding shulkers. They are still following me. Great. Just great. Okay, so things have calmed down a little bit now. There's one there and one there. That's so frustrating. Um, I've come out there with 11 shulker shells, which kind of sucks because it's an odd number and you need two shulker shells to make a shulker box. It's okay, it's fine. Uh, I got a white sugar box, a blue sugar box, and a yellow one, though, so that's pretty cool. And uh, obviously with 10 sugar cells, sugar shells, at least we can make five boxes as well. We'll come back here at some point when I feel a little more, um, less stressed out from this. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like we've done pretty well. Um, I would like that one extra sugar, sugar shell, though. Can I just... Yes, that will do nicely. Thank you very much. I'm running away. Run away. Run away. Run away. No. No. Enderpearl. 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 Oh, no. No. Uh. Okay. 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 Wait, can I put something next to the block? Oh, okay. I've got a platform. That's that's much better. Um uh, uh, that's fine. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? No. No, it was not. Uh, I'm actually just gonna mooch around the end for a little <laughs> fine. Uh, for a little bit longer. Um I'm really looking for all the different tree types. In fact, there's actually there's a couple I'm really, really interested in. Uh, but I haven't seen them yet, so I need to do quite a bit more exploring. And, uh, and stuff. These Aurora Crystals here, these are very cool. I like this block a lot. Actually, I might collect up a whole bunch of that, a couple of stacks of that. What's this one? Oh, that's the uh, that's one over there, yeah. It's not the prettiest tree, but it does have very nice leaves. Yes. Okay, move forward. Check it out. We found one of these uh, Goblin Trader guys. This is the end version. He looks very, very cool. They also make really cool little noises as well. There we go. Make a noise. I like it. Uh, what does he sell? Um, a person of blindness. Opal. Um, it's slow falling, it's earlier. Not so great, this one. No, no, not so good. So check this out. I've actually just found a an end city ship. But as you can see, there's a big pillar going up into it. So I'm going to take a wild guess and say someone has already looted that one. Oh well. Luckily, this is one of the trees that I was looking for. That is a very, very cool colour. I really like that a lot. This is the Pythodendron. Pythodendron tree. Love it. Very nice. Um, pretty cool leaves. Not quite really what I'm looking for, but I am going to take a whole bunch of this. Um, getting some saplings from this thing might be quite difficult because these are rather large. This looks like one of the end ships, but kind of like crashed, crashed on the land here. That's very interesting. How do we get in? Me wonders. I think we probably just have to break in. I'm not hearing any mobs inside there, so that uh, 
Hopefully that's a good thing. Uh, unfortunately, there's no loot in these chests. I don't know if it's actually been looted or not. Um, we could get some potions of healing. I'm going to leave them there. I'm up a tree. I am up a tree. Possibly with an enderman up my... Hmm. Uh, I'm trying to get some saplings from this tree. The Lacu Grove. The La La Les Aguave. Yep, that tree. Uh, trying to get a bunch of saplings from this one so that I can grow it in the overworld. I feel like, though, the back is not particularly nice, really. <laughs> not a big fan, but I am a big fan of the leaves, so I want to grab as many of those as I can. Um, ideally, like I would want to be able to grow them at my base, you know, so I can maybe start a little farm of it. But I don't know whether this will grow in, you know, over like regular dirt. So I should probably take a bunch of the floor blocks as well. See if we can plant it on that. I really wish. <laughs> I wish. I wish I could just take down this tree in one big chop. It ain't happening. Okay, there's, there's bound to be a whole bunch of logs that uh, are just, just sticking out everywhere, and you just need to chip away at it, and <laughs> it's very frustrating. Alrighty, so I'm back. I'm back home. And you know what's crazy? I have been into the end. Killed the ender dragon before I've been to the nether. What is that over there? Invaders. So annoying. Um, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Do you know what else is crazy? I still live here. I still live in this rock hut here rather than in this beautiful church over here. Uh, it's mostly just because it's slightly just inconvenient. It's a little bit uh, unintuitive having to go all the way over there and travel down the stairs into the into the crypt below and uh, have my frames drop to zero and it's just a bit, a bit annoying. <laughs> Do you know what though? There's going to be a whole bunch of uh, houses and stuff around this town and I might just end up living in one of those and just use this for like bulk storage and stuff. Maybe. Who knows? Do you know what? It's not really that spooky about this town, is it, really? Uh, which is a real shame. Um, it's almost too nice, really. Uh, the only sort of spooky things I've got are uh, the odd cobweb here and there. But you know what? I'm just going to build. And if it turns out spooky, great. If it doesn't, that's okay. I failed, but that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Do you know what will help it be spooky, though? All of this stuff. This is what I collected in the morning from those graveyards. And there's plenty of great stuff here. A whole bunch of skulls, piles of skulls, skull and rib cages. Even like um, leaning wither skeletons and piles of uh, wither skulls and stuff. That's great. That's really cool stuff. So uh, yeah, that's going to really, really help it to get a little more spooky around the place. Now check all this out. This is from the end excursion. What is it? No idea. Don't know. Ooh, glowing ball. What is that? Do you have to hang it from something? It's fine. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. It's fine. And uh, all of this stuff as well. We've got a bunch of these lacquer groove, these lacquer grave leaves. And you know what? I figured out this end moss, right? And then we get one of these saplings. And do I have any bone meal? Yes, I have a little bit of bone meal. Uh, place that. Place that. One, two, three four five it didn't work that's fine let's do best bone meal it yeah. ah, beautiful but you know what though that's actually going to be an absolute nightmare to take down now but yeah at least we can grow it anyway so i can get up there and get a whole bunch of the leaves because i really want i really want the leaves now we also have um what's the other one what's oh check this out as well check this out so you can get viola sight. I have a whole bunch of that. And it makes these really cool lanterns. And they're like different colours and stuff as well. So that's really nice. I have a feeling these could be cool. Uh, used for like lampposts and stuff. Are on the pathways that we're going to have around the place. That could be really nice. Um, what was the other sapling? What was the other sapling? Aha! Pythonendron. Now what do I place that on? Um, was it the pink moss? Was it the end moss? Maybe? What else we got? Okay, we'll try that. Let's try that. Okay, so we'll try on some end moth. No. Pink moss? No. Um, hmm. Okay, okay. What about chorus nylium? Aha! Ah, ha, ha! Okay. Now, what is this going to grow like? <laughs> wow. 
Okay, so this this bark, I really like the color of this. Now, does it go in this town like the color? Does it fit? Not really. No. Can I make it work? Maybe? Because what I'd like to do is uh, I would like to try in my hand at a few custom trees. Now, if you've ever watched any of my series, this is, this is, you know, I'm terrible at custom trees. It's my worst thing to build in Minecraft, but I really want to try at least a few of them dotted around the place. So hopefully we can use that with those leaves. That's my plan. Okay. Okay. Don't judge before you've seen it. I can make it work. Maybe. Um, one other thing we have, I collected a bunch of these. Okay. This, uh, this pal 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 palladium, palladium. What's that one? That's the thin cover, heavy cover and the tiny cover. Okay. Crap names. I've got to say. <laughs> That's fine. So check this out. I was thinking about using these for paths. I don't know if I mentioned that in the video. Thinking about using it for pathways. Mm. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think it works. No, I don't like it. Nope. No, no, no. I so uh, yeah, that's a bit of a bust, but that's okay. We'll just use, you. We'll use some standard blocks with paths, things like uh, gravel, cobble, tough. We can use a bunch of tough, I think, to use uh, in the paths and stuff like that. We'll we'll try that. But maybe I can use this for a little a little project further down the line. I have a little a little idea for it, so that's okay. Uh, it wasn't completely wasted at the time at grabbing all that. As you can see, we'll have a whole bunch of other stuff we can play around with. I really like these Aurora Crystals as well. They are very cool. And you actually use these to craft those uh, those Violacite Lanterns as well. That's great. I don't know... Because, like, check out that colour. And I think, yeah, it's like different colours in different places. That's cool. I like that. Alrighty, so I've chopped down those trees, got a whole bunch of logs and leaves and stuff, so that's great. We can build a custom tree or two before we end the episode. But first, I would like to build something roughly over here. Yeah, maybe in line with this church door, maybe sort of this area. I would like to build a fountain because I want something as a bit of a centerpiece for the town because I don't really have the layout for the town uh, solidified in my brain hole just yet so uh yeah hopefully that's going to help okay so we can have that as the center of the town then the church that direction and then in that direction in a future episode we're going to build the tavern over there and then from there we can sort of spray out a few different houses around the place um a bunch of trees and stuff and sort of i don't know whatever else a <laughs> town has a well or something i'm not sure i don't know uh, that cat, that crashed cat that we saw in the first episode, I want to rebuild that somewhere in the town. That'd be cool. And I'm thinking over there, or maybe we chop this down and put it over there. I'm not too sure just yet. We build a nether portal, but that's once again in a future episode. Okay, so um, let me do a little bit of figuring things out, and then let's get building a bit of a fountain. <laughs> So there we have it, just a very simple fountain design for the centerpiece for the town. So this is going to help us uh, sort of get the layout right for the place. And uh, it's going to tie everything together nicely, I think. I've used the same blocks that we've been using for the rest of the builds to sort of stick to that block palette. I like it. And I've got a few little extra decorations around the place for added effect. Very cool, very cool. So we've got the path going from the fountain to the church here. It works all the way around and it goes this way up to the tower and also to the side of the church there as well. And uh, yeah, this is gonna wind along this way up to sort of like an entrance into the town. I don't really know how large the town's gonna be just yet. So I haven't really figured that out. Uh, and then this side, we can have this going up to the tavern over here. So I've just got to do a little bit of landscaping and stuff um, to get some room to build the tavern. Hello, I've never seen one of you before. Lovely, hope they're not aggressive. I'm sure it's fine. They're quite big, I've got to say that, quite big. What was I doing? Okay, so, um, do you know what? I guess, oh, oh, let me just show you this first. 
I built the cat. Okay, we have the cat over here. I liked this from the very first episode. I thought it was really, really cool. So that's uh, that's really nice to have this in our town now. That's great. Just an extra little detail, you know, extra little detail to throw in there um, for just to sort of fill up the space. Speaking of fill up, filling up the space, I don't know what to do here. There's a big gap. Don't really know what to do. And there's going to be the same over here as well. Hmm. Now, I am going to build a couple of custom trees to finish off the episode, and I'm going to do one here, and I think probably then it would be a good idea to do one here. Maybe here I'll do... Oh, I can do like a little well. Yeah, I mentioned doing a well. Okay, we can have, we can have a well. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I know that churches sometimes have like signs outside them. We know where they like to change the signs every few days and stuff to say different things, like the, the timing for the worship and stuff. Maybe we could do something along those lines. Oh, maybe we could have a map. Oh, we could have a map of the town on like a little sign. Oh, that could be pretty cool. Okay, so the ideas are flowing. That's great. Okay, I've been stalling. Uh, I need to build a couple of custom trees. I'm not sure how the, how well this is going to go. Um, hopefully, though, hopefully I can make it work. And you know what? I think I did. I think I did make it work. Do you know what? These aren't too bad. These are probably the first custom trees that I've actually been really happy with, which is, uh, it's it's crazy for me. I really like this this wood block, this pythodendron back. It's really, really nice. Such a great colour. I'm not entirely sure what colour it is because I'm colour blind. Is it purple? I think it's purple. It's probably purple. This looks purple. And I don't know what colour the leaves are. Do not ask me what colour that is. That's one of my worst colours. But uh, I think they go together quite well. I think this looks really nice. You know, I said before, I was a bit worried that uh, I don't know if it goes with the rest of the town. I think if I just dot enough of these around the place, I can make it work. Okay, I really do think I, I, think I can make it work. Do you know what? I really like the colour of the water as well. I think this looks really nice in this fountain here. Mm, very cool. Very cool. All right. Do you know what? This adds a lot of life to the place as well. This has really sort of filled up a lot of space and just made it look a little more lived in. It's great. Uh, I don't really know how I had the past. Did I show you when I had the past leading up to this? I did. Yeah, I did. Okay, that's fine. So I don't need to show you that. That's okay. Do you know what? I've noticed something over here. All right. This. Look at this. What is this? Let's check this out. What's going on here? Some strange box. It was quite modern. There's no sign on it. Hello, badger. Badger and badger. That's a very British thing and quite an old British thing actually now. Observation lab. Subject Jagiero. Ooh, that's a really nice view of the fountain. Observation lab. Someone is spying on us. I won't stand for it. I will not. I'm fine. I won't stand for it. No. Listen here, buckaroo. Buddy. Yeah. I am the only creepy weirdo on the server. Okay? That's my job. That's interesting. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> do it, do it. Do you know what? I knew the hole was there and I still went down it. Ooh, cool. You know what? Coming up to the fountain from this angle looks really cool. When you get to see like the tower and the and the church behind it, I really like that. That makes me so happy. I didn't really show you the details. I've just sort of realized. Um, I've got a few lanterns about the place. Uh, some ropes hanging down because I just I, I, I feel like it's a little bit creepy having ropes hanging down. I don't know. It works in my brain. Plus, we've got some skulls hanging from some of them, so that obviously works. I want this. Mine. Thank you. Uh, do I have any other skulls about the place? No, we've got some cobwebs and some candles and stuff. Um, using the, the fence posts for, like, smaller uh, branches and twigs and things like that. Over here, we've got a beetle. A stick bug. Very nice. We've got another skull and, again, some lanterns, cobwebs. Uh, that, that, do I have any rope on me? I do. Um, do why is it there we go okay <laughs> professional minecrafter i swear yeah so this i don't know there's something about hanging ropes anyway it's, it's just it just triggers something in my brain that's creepy and weird and i like it i could i was thinking maybe using chains i might uh, have a few chains hanging from it as well 
I like it. I really like it. Adding a lot of the moss about the place, it just adds a little more colour to it. Uh, did I show you the cart? I did show you the cart. Okay. I forgot to do the well. Okay, so the next episode, we'll uh, we'll build a little well here. And as I said, I really like the, the idea of having... I keep seeing things in the, in the corner of my eye. I think it's these little leaves floating down. I like it, but it's very distracting. <laughs> Uh, as I mentioned, I think we're going to have a sign with the map on it. I think that could work really, really well. All right, guys, I'm really happy with this, but I'm afraid I've run out of time for today. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, leave a comment. And if you'd like to see more, click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.